We are almost at a thousand subscribers, so if you want to be in the 1k gang, hit that subscribe button. So welcome back, it's Francis and today's topic is the Fender Frontman 10G practice amplifier. I bought this bad boy around 10 years ago, when I was in high school, for my electric guitar, and it's working just fine since then. I took it to gigs and practice sessions and to studios and it's held up pretty well. I have no complaints. This is one of the cheapest and uh, most simplistic amplifiers you can get on the market, but it does what it's supposed to. Of course it doesn't have the most characteristic sound or whatever, but with a couple of effect pedals, it's quite alright. So let's open up this bad boy and uh, let's see what's inside. I suspect not a whole lot. So just let's turn it around. The back plate is held on by four screws. We have to remove them first. And as always, I make a disclaimer here. If you are following along, you do it at your own risk. Never take apart appliances. Only if you know what you're doing. And of course, only at your own risk. And that was the legal disclaimer, but yeah. You can learn the most by taking apart appliances like this. I learned the most about electricity by taking apart uh, every device I could lay my hands on. When I started at young age I didn't have internet or books on electricity or anything like that. That is a nice linear power supply. So just yeah, be aware of dangerous voltages, but you can uh, have a look into your devices. But this is not a legal advice. Just between friends. So, this is all of its glory, not a whole lot, and... No! No! I was expecting a lot more than this. Uh, it's just this TDA-2030 IC. This is the whole amplifier, and it's connected here. And uh, all of this is just the RC circuitry for the TDA chip. So, this IC is the whole amplifier. <laughs> yeah, the TDA-2030AL. Uh, when I said I don't expect uh, nothing much to be under the hood, I expected a little bit more, like a MOSFET push-pull configuration amp, but this this doesn't even have a proper heatsink. It's only connected to the metal chassis, and that's all. I don't know why I bought this amp uh, instead of building it, because it's as simple as it gets. I could have done it ten years ago. But it did work very reliably, so no complaints, and it was pretty cheap. It's a, like a $40 amp, but now I can see why it's so cheap. All in all, it's worth it, so no problems there. It's just very funny how it's a single chip uh, amplifier. I would have expected something a little bit more archaic, or something a little bit more complex. And it's not even from ST Microelectronics, it's from UTC. I don't know if that's worse or not. You can buy them pretty uh, easily, they are like 50 cent a piece, and you can build your own uh, Fender guitar ramp uh, with all of these. They are pretty widely available too, so I suppose you can get them in any country. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me uh, reverse engineer this uh, amplifier and build our own Fender Frontman practice amp. So here is this simple single-sided PCB and this is the connector for the power amp. This is the input jack for the instruments and here we have the potentiometers and the RC circuitry for the TDA. This is all. This whole side is for the amplification we also have these two JRC Dual OP amps, uh, which I presume are the preamplification and the overdrive stages of the amplifier. This little white push button is the overdrive over there, I don't know if you can see that. And that's all from amplification side, let's go over to the power side. From power supply point of view even less to see, here is our full bridge rectifier, the audio jacks that go to the amplifier and we have the power switch and an LED over there and uh, and we have the glass fuse 
over here and that's all. We have these two giant caps to smooth out the power and it's all what you would expect from a linear power supply. There is nothing interesting about it. And what kind of amplifier test would it be without testing it? So I have prepared my Epiphone Les Paul electric guitar and it's set to clean mode and some random settings over here. Let's just test it. Let's change some things up a little bit. Let's put on the overdrive. So let's give a quick rundown, a verdict, on the Fender Frontman 10G uh, practice amp. All in all it's a pretty good amp that you can get for a hundred bucks on Amazon, but if you're lucky and you do a little bit more research work on the net, you can get these for around 50-60 bucks even. The clean tone is pretty good on this amp and I like the chorus effect that is going on, but I couldn't find good use for the overdrive. It will not sound as good as uh, screeching electric guitar solos in 80s songs, but if your style of music uh, allows this uh, little bit of rusty overdrive, then it's okay. In any case, what do you expect from a $50 to $100 guitar amp? You can do your effects with a multi effect or a effect pedal chain and you can still use this amp and another pro that this is a light and a reliable amp and as we observed in this video it's very easy to fix even if you're not very experienced with electricity the worst that can happen in this amp is that the capacitors start leaking but that's just a very simple soldering job or even if the TDA2030 power amp I see breaks you can replace it for 50 cents or a dollar something like that so it's very very easy to fix and it will work for a long long time also a very nice touch that it has an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter jack and also a 3.5 millimeter headphone output so you can practice at night or when you don't want to disturb anybody else around you because also a pro that it is very loud, it, it really is loud. So 
it's good for the stage or when you play with friends. So overall, it's a pretty nice amp. But one thing I do miss is that this has only one uh, guitar input. That's a con, but uh, it's a sub hundred dollar amp. And also it would be a nice touch if it would have a tone control knob. It only has a treble and a bass and of course the gain and volume. But yeah, a tone control would be pretty nice. And if you're still watching, thank you for watching this video all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And as always, have a very very wonderful day. Francis signs out. See you in the next video.